A big greeting to all. Welcome again to a video of sculptures from Colombia. Remember you can see more at sculpturasdecolumbia.blogspot.com. Today with works by Maestro Fernando Botero, rehearsing a new automatic voice. I await your comments. And if you like it, I invite you to subscribe to my channel for more videos about Colombian sculptures. Let's start. Fernando Botero was born in Medellin on April 19, 1932. He is a cartoonist, painter, and sculptor, the son of David Botero and Flora Angulo and the brother of Juan David. His great creation, which many have baptized as Boteriformismo is a special way of characterizing or representing people and objects through an increase in volume. After trying the art of bullfighting and realizing that this was not his vocation, Botero made his first exhibition in 1948 in the city of Medellin. I found an anecdote on Wikipedia that caught my attention. Some of his drawings were considered obscene at the Colegio Bolivariana, so he was expelled and finished his studies at the defunct Lyceum of the University of Antioquia. I wonder, if they are still alive. What will those people who considered these first drawings by Master Botero think as obscene? Then, in 1950 he went to live in Bogota, then to Tulu and returned to Bogota, where he won second place in the Four National Artists Salon with the oil Frente al Mar. In 1951, after presenting his first solo exhibition, he traveled to Tulu, on the Colombian Caribbean coast, where he made several works very different from those we know today. The following year he moved to Europe, where he continued his self-education copying works by the great Spanish and Italian masters, among others, especially by Renaissance painters. He lived in Mexico from 1956, where pre-Columbian art and the murals of Orozco, Rivera and Siquiros, contributed to give shape and meaning to his artistic explorations. The following year he traveled to New York, where he met the proposals of the abstract expressionists, from whom he learned the loose and visible brush stroke. From here Botero lives in various parts such as Europe, Colombia, Mexico and the United States, New York. And finally it begins to be successful, as for example, in 1958 he made an exhibition in Washington where he sold all his works the same day of the inauguration. During the 1960s he made several exhibitions in important museums, giving way to paintings and drawings of voluminous and monumental forms. With silky textures and themes inspired by the history of art and Latin American idiosyncrasy, which he moved to the third dimension from 1973, year of his first sculptures. At the beginning of the 70s, Fernando Botero began the production of his sculptures, which today are even better known than his drawings, watercolors, and oils. Master Botero's personal life has taken place in many cities around the world, where he has also had three marriages and four children, one already died in an accident. It is worth noting that Botero still continues to produce works and that he has exhibited his works in most European and American countries giving himself the luxury of exhibiting his works in several famous avenues and squares in the world. Currently his style is based on people, animals, or objects with a thick or robust appearance, the fat or the fat as we say in Medellin, both in painting and sculpture. And his theme has gone through various topics, but currently he has been working on the horrors of war and torture. The Botero Museum, in the city of Bogota has one of the most important art collections in Latin America. These are 85 works by some of the creators of art history in the late 19th century. It also has 123 works that include, drawings, oils, watercolors and some sculptures by the master Fernando Botero. In 2000, he donated this collection to the Banco de la República and the city to make the works more accessible to the entire Colombian population. Plaza Botero was built in Medellín, 
where 23 sculptures made by the master Fernando Botero can be seen. Among them are Woman with Fruit, Eve, Adam, Horse, Seated Woman, Maternity, Man on Horse, Roman Soldier and Thought, among others. Its location is very central. Since it is located between the Rafael Urabi Urabi Palace of Culture, the Antioquia Museum and the Barrio Park Station of the Medellin Metro which provides access to the exhibition. Donations from Fernando Botero The history of Fernando Botero's donations to the Museo de Antioquia dates back to 1974, when directors of the institution asked the artist to sell his exvoto work in installments. That unusual request perhaps prompted Botero to respond generously by immediately donating the piece. In 1976, when the Antioquia Museum held its anniversary celebration, Fernando Botero donated the Oil Pedro, one of the most significant works for the artist. A few months later the pieces of Botero's first massive donation arrived, 14 in total, most of them oils a couple of pastels and two drawings. Many of the paintings donated at that time constitute the Sala Pedrito Botero, named after the teacher's youngest son. The Colombian, large-format watercolor, was received in 1981, and today it occupies a special place in one of the rooms. In 1984, 16 medium-sized sculptures arrived followed by the large donation of 2000, whose offer encouraged the search for a new venue, an objective that was accomplished by choosing the old Municipal Palace of Medellin. At the beginning of the new century, the city received the great donation. 23 large format sculptures for the plaza. Nearly 90 works by him, and just over 20 other modern and contemporary artists, arrived at the Museo de Antioquia. Four years later, in 2004, 11 other works by foreign creators arrived. During the last decade the donation of the oil Pablo Escobar died. 2006, received in 2008, occurred as a way of remembering that the violent past of the city has been transformed. That Medellin lives a new reality, where personalities like Escobar are part of a history that cannot be denied and with which the museum can negotiate thanks to art. Botero's works that make up this donation collect an important sample of the artistic career of this Colombian artist. These oils, watercolors, drawings and sculptures are permanently exhibited in the north wing of the third floor, for the enjoyment and knowledge of those who inhabit and visit the Museum of Antioquia. The last donation received corresponds to the Via Crucis series. The Passion of Christ, a set of 27 oils and 34 drawings that entered the collection after being exhibited in our temporary rooms during 2012. In the set of Botero's generous deliveries to this institution, this donation allows the museum to expand its international exhibition activity, because the way of the cross can travel the world. I remind you that you can see more at sculpturasdecolumbia.blogspot.com. Leave your comments, and if you liked it, I invite you to give like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos about Colombian sculptures and other interesting topics.